Oops, I forgot to change the screen. Hi guys, don't mind me. <laughs> One second. What's up, everybody? I um, didn't realize I was on the wrong screen, but here we are. It's Sunday. It's 3 p.m., at least on the east coast of the U.S., and it is time for the broadcast again. I am joined by Commander Greatest. Hello, Ian. Wow. Sorry, yeah. I'm very enthusiastic today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Turgeon Starstone. Hello there. Off to a normal start, I assume this week then with your uh, ah wrong screen ah, no, absolutely ah. absolutely this would not be the broadcast the yeah it wouldn't be the broadcast without me messing something up <laughs> uh no but uh i turgeon i'm going to assume that uh the uh rum community goal completing so fast was all thanks to you yes oh, i wouldn't know anything about that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, from Vicious Captain rumors, Jack Starstone Vicious himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so oh, typical, man. like, there's the one community goal that is perfectly suited for the broadcast. Oh and no! Finished. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. Thanks, Fucking guys. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Well done. You just ruined Cheers. it. Absolutely <laughs> ruined it. <laughs> Bunch of, oh, mm. by the way, if you call the hind nebula the hive nebula, how would you call the hind mine in the hind system or in the in the hind nebula? I I would call it the the hive mind. What? This is oh. Thargoids. What? <laughs> Illuminati confirmed, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna go there and dock there. I think it could have a great view. Oh, I forgot it's... that they put that, uh, that's a, uh, uh... It's an asteroid base. Asteroid base, asteroid base. yeah, that's, that's the awesome. the perfect we'll place to start out. off. We'll yeah, guys, we, out. Yeah. we are doing exploration today, so if you fancy that, go come out to the Hind Nebula and oh meet us here, Crashing and then we'll go for a little exploration trip and check out some of the interesting systems in the area here. Yeah, uh, I am it's sorry for problem? calling it... Behind, Beehive... What is it? Oh Jesus! Is it that? <laughs> all, all, all about Jesus. the bees. I don't. I don't know. I. I. As long as I have played this game and known about the Hind Nebula, I've called it the Hive Nebula. I. I don't understand why I do that, but it's the Hind Nebula. H I N D. Uh, we, are we are in not the in open play. J Hawkins <laughs> private group, as usual. Indeed, we are. We need to get him on a couch sometime and investigate this deep-seated problem he's got with hives and hinds. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a, it's a problem. Does it it's react to your childhood? And yeah. has his <laughs> issues with spiders, I suspect. Oh no 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 no! We're not bringing that up. Josh is not here. <laughs> We're not bringing We're that save up. That oh, for next week. Oh god, no! Josh had to get rid of a spider. Yeah. He had yeah, to get rid of the tarantula. And of the gecko as well. Or yeah. It wasn't a gecko. He's gonna. He's gonna. No, he'll, he'll correct. Complain just... about that. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, it Josh. A, a, it was Bob. A, 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 ox, oxytocin Xenopus todus type. I don't know what the hell it was. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> lizard. Bearded lizard. I love me some bearded The sacrifices lizard. you make, you know. All right, here we are. We have I have arrived at the Hind Nebula. Great test is already. Well, that was Wait, quick. Well done. Just <laughs> drop from behind mine. Yeah, it's, it's real close. It's real close. It's only uh, it's only seven hundred light years. Yeah, six hundred, seven hundred light years. Um, no, I did not say comms. Close that. Uh, but this is one of my favorite nebulae. Like, one hundred percent. I it love this It is very pretty nebula. in here. Um, this was the first um, planetary nebula that um, I went to because uh, I, well, no, I guess we had a couple on Distant Worlds. Um, this is the first one I went to by myself, and just the way they've modeled this, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, they've actually put a uh, an asteroid base. Well, we already talked about this. I'm going to say it again. They put an asteroid base here. We're going to check it out. I just but, got landing pad 42. 
I won. I sign off. Bye. You win. <laughs> you win. You win the internet nah, today. Let, me, let yeah. me slow this down. And, uh... I mean, the way they've modeled this, the colors, and just the way everything goes together, like, this is absolutely amazing. I love this place. And it's got uh, two gas giants, multiple moons each, and some of those moons have some crazy canyons in them. It's absolutely awesome. That love it to death. sounds like a place we would want to go to. Is there any other, like, uh, sites to be seen in the area? Like, for example, um, alien groves on planet? Um, I think the closest to here is going to be uh, the Pleiades. Okay, then never mind. Um, I, don't, I don't think... I think... As far as, like, the growths, like, non-barnacle stuff, um, there are some things in the California Nebula by Mike Turner Base... Um, mm -hmm. and uh, stuff out no towards Colonia. Uh, someone might be able to correct me in chat, but other than that, I'm not aware of anything around. But, I mean, I just love this nebula. I mean, look at that! It looks like the sky is on <laughs> fire. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, yeah, sorry guys. Oh uh, yeah, good point. Can't join the group. Because Josh isn't here. Huge congrats to Mikkel Johnson, our resident music maker in chat, um, who just released his first album with like 30 oh, yes. new of his tracks. Um, Exodus. Yep. Exodus. You can get get it pretty much everywhere. I think it's over two and a half hours of music material you have there. Uh, go check it out. Absolutely. Um, I actually used some music from Exodus in uh, Legacy. Yeah, there are several videos of different content creators out there with his music, and um, the last yeah. one probably being Cookie's awesome, beautiful video. I really, really enjoyed that one. Don't lick the windows. I can't <laughs> promise anything. <laughs> Purgeons here is a bad. He's a bad well, influence. <laughs> you, it, it just you know, if you stay at the rings, you won't get red nebula blindness. You have to have a frame of reference. Because if you have this no frame of reference, you'll get red nebula blindness, and that that way lies ice licking. <laughs> Oh man, look at this, guys. This is This is gorgeous here. I I am This is deserving of external camera right here. Oh my gosh. This is Okay, some people like to say that Elite Dangerous is nothing more than a screenshot simulator. And you know what? It's times like this to where I don't give a damn. <laughs> I mean, where else are you going to get video like this? I'll tell you where. Not anywhere I know of. I mean, look at this! That is gorgeous. Alright, I'm going to flip this around before I hit something. I already have damage too. I am probably one of the few people who has uh, keep damage on a DBX. A DBX. Yeah, <laughs> See how bad my that. modules are. <laughs> eh, it's not that bad. Some... Well, I mean, it, it, it's the slight limit on the fuel scoop size for us picky yeah. veteran explorers. I mean, not Thanks for that, Gray. <laughs> Request docking permission. Request sent. Look at them guns, man. Do you want me to play that one again for you? Docking yeah. request denied. Nafok Shabu. Is that all right? I've got some yes. of for you. Acknowledged. Oh, I appreciate that, Torch. All right, let's let's get repaired up and. I can uh, lower the gear for you now. You're too late. You cannot lower the gear for me. I already did it. Uh, I'm telling you, Gintai, scenery prawn indeed. In Space Engine, Andy AP says you can get screen screenshot simulator in Space yeah. Engine. This is true. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Make sure I got my uh, my red engines on so I can match great test over there. I'm currently sitting in a cage. Where you belong. You animal. Yeah, well, they don't trust you. They don't want to leave wandering around this asteroid. Are you dancing in this cage? Uh, not yet. Not yet. So soon. 
TM. Depends mm. on the alcohol levels. <laughs> but since the rum is gone somehow, yes. it's not going to happen. Oh, man. Uh, ooh, someone was asking, uh, I think it was Jan was asking about uh, Josh earlier. Josh just let us know today um, he is moving into his place this week. Um, he should be getting his computer and all set up on Saturday. So next that's, week, that's his number one priority. That's his He's number one really priority. Really it is. Busy. Hey, <laughs> um, He's got his priorities right there. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, so <laughs> this is the last week you'll have to deal with me sitting here. You'll have Josh's pretty mug sitting here next week. Maybe, hopefully. Oh, you guys. <laughs> You guys. <laughs> Aww. You just make a little boy blush. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Nah, but uh, I'm, I'm super happy for Josh. Um, I'm going to hit the mail slot. No, I'm not. I could do that, though. I'm a real boy! If you want to. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Really, I do. Oh, look at that. Um, Commander KJNPBR is already here. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see. We are Jigums. We are in the Hind Nebula. H I N D. You can see the uh, system name right here. T Tori. Even though the main star is not a T Tori star, indeed, it is a Class G star, and the secondary star is a Class G as well. So, I am assuming this is an astronomy thing to where someone named this star T Tori way back when they discovered it. And uh, it just stayed that way. Yeah. Uh, great test. I'm gonna head to to uh, A1A real quick. See if we can find a good uh, good scenic spot to hang out. Roger that. Coming Pic along. Picnic site. Picnic site in A1A. Yep. Should be marked. Yeah, Sinclair says at least the sound bites aren't deafening. Should be good. Yes, well, th they might if I actually played some music. I was testing it earlier in Discord, and they're going, no, no, rock concert, no. So, you know, as long as I stick to the sound files, we're probably okay. Um, you just won. Thank you, baby. And I don't do this. Oh. God, I, every that, time! You see, that's what happens. That's what happens if I press that one. <laughs> really appreciate okay. that. No, it's funny because uh, so I'll stick to the, the speech ones. The last half hour deaf. to forty, this, this <laughs> the last half <laughs> hour to forty-five minutes before the broadcast, um, Turgeon was trying to get the volume right on the intro song mm. so he could play it, and uh, it was, every time he touched something, he was like, "Okay, so how's about this?" And it was like it's like Gray Test and I were like front row at a broadcast at a Tom Cook concert. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was it was funny. The worst one is the loud hawk noise. This is true. This is true. I uh, Actually, I'm, I'm, I haven't had subscriptions for a while, have we? <laughs> this is true. I uh, I have not. I've missed Josh, but I have not missed that damn screeching hawk. <laughs> Even though we don't really hear it because it doesn't play for us, but. All right, let me get to a spot where we can see the uh, the rings and the planet real well. Oh, yeah. Here are some good canyons. You can have this one, then. It puts the brush in on its skin, or it gets the hawk again. <laughs> Jesus. Ew. Slow down. Slow down. Uh, our Diamondbacks currently have something like 52, 53 light years. Yes, um, I'm sitting at 53 ish. Uh, 52.8. Yeah. <coughs> They're not just uh, hulls with an engine in either. They're equipped with SRVs and stuff. So my oh yeah my actually, a, my jump range a is viable build for now, right now. Mm. Can go up to 58.7 on fumes. Yeah. Uh, I've seen people make 60. Yeah, I've seen people make ones that do 60, but uh, you know that that literally is just a hole with nothing in it. Oh, so. my, yeah, my, exactly. my, I can I can get mine over 60 easily because this one has a SRV, it has shields, it has uh, big power plants and drives, so there's a lot to be desired to get the weight down. 
Oh man, all right, I found our picnic spot, Greg. I lost you, can you turn your beacon on? Oh, yes, I can. Uh, da, da, da. Options, enable wing beacon. Oh, <laughs> fuck, you're completely in a different location now. Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. And well, the good thing about our, having that. That goes our PG rating. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice. I'm so used to Gray's filthy German mouth. Sorry. Yeah. German potty mouth. No, can... th th that looks not unlike the kind of cliff where you save Turgeon from going over the edge, doesn't it? This is true. That it's, was it's that was a long cliff. time ago, too. It was. Yeah, 90 kilometers away. I'm going to have to go up to space again. Great. Yeah, this is some rough terrain. I don't know if I'm going to be able to land here. You're better off where you first came in. Yep. Let me back it up. Back it up. Yeah. I can land over half here. A, half a click behind you. Here's a spot. Now it can, yeah. Mac Jack, Mac uh, Jack Morgan, that's true, but it didn't used to be able to do that. It's only after mm. they, re they reduced its weight. Yep. Yeah. Um, Man, back in distant worlds days, we were talking about this earlier because I was, I was complaining because I kind of wanted to take my python out, but uh, engineer and take exploration your state. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Great Put it up now, the way to the of dad jokes. Like perverted yeah, dad jokes. If only I had kids, man. I would that be the, dad that the makes the you uncomfortable. Undisputed, undisputed king. Yeah. I've got my camouflage on with my military sand paint. Oh man, look at that! You'll have I'm, that right I'm the exact it's opposite. The annoying uncle. You should have gone for pink. I should have done pink. Right, that would be perfect blend. Take a photo. The desert, the desert camo there. Take a high res photo. Taking high resolution photo. I see Grey Test Shadow approaching. I love this. By the shadow point. of Grey Test! Um, <laughs> Asp Explorer's uh, 48.1 light range is not bad. That's actually really that good for good. an Asp. That's very good. But yeah, I was, I was complaining because I wanted to bring my Python to go exploring. That better? I That's wanted to bring it, better. but engineered my jump range is only like 36 light years, and okay. uh, back back in distant worlds, man, yeah. to have yeah. to have Put over 30 light, light years, years. Yeah. it was like I had 34 yeah. light years on my like butt naked asp. That was a yeah. hole and with a fuel scoop, thrusters, and an SRV. I was, yeah, if, I was if you had less than 30, it was actually like ridiculously yeah. difficult to get across the abyss because it you was, would yeah. constantly have to use uh, jumponium and that's not yeah. really viable yeah. over these distances. Oh, you are uh, absolutely chrome. Yeah. Mine did 33.3. Um, oh, I am. Yeah. I had two SRVs, but it had a decorative shield. So, you know, that yes, was the sacrifices we made. On, on Distant Worlds, decorative shield was uh, a prerequisite to coming on the trip. Mm. There you go. Two uh, Diamondback explorers in their natural habitat. Right there. Oh, All right. This you, week. Oh, real quick before you say anything, great test. Yeah. I I'm not gonna bring her on screen. Uh, today is my wife and I's sixth anniversary. Thank you. Cause I don't have any makeup on. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but she just said thank you because I have no makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> well, congrats on my sight. Absolutely awesome. Do I that, 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 is, that is a marriage that'll last. You say, here she is, I'm not bringing her on. She's got no makeup on, she doesn't want to come on. That is, <laughs> that is a marriage that'll last, you see. And she just brought me a sandwich. So, wow. ooh, there you go. Keep her. My wife is the best. <laughs> Absolutely. But, uh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Nice yeah, I, was, I was just about to talk about uh, this week's ship name of yours. A shot below yes. the belt. What's that all about? Uh, That's shop bread you got there, actually. Um, I love his bread. It's a uh, honey wheat. Anyway, um, mm, shop below the belt is a song by August Burns Red. It's one of my favorite like metal bands from high school. So you're doing uh, songs, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Um, they <laughs> released they released a new album um, a couple of days ago, and uh, it got me kind of nostalgic. So 
This nice. was my favorite song. This is like one of the first songs I heard from them, and I love it. So if you want some good metal, Google uh, August Burns Red, A Shot Below the Belt. Fantastic song. Or uh, just ask me to play Shibuka any music Bursary. whatsoever, and it'll deafen these two like a rock concert. <laughs> Happy <is> Sandwich. <laughs> Happy sandwich. Yes, I, I love my PB and J sandwiches. Oh, that's a shot. That's that's a shot right there. Oh yes, I love this screenshot well, generator. I, I, but I wouldn't make great know about bread. take a high res photo. I wouldn't know about any of the shots you're currently taking because I can't manage to play your stream back in the background. YouTube is buffering uh, like hell for me again. Yeah, YouTube is so weird in the last few weeks. And it's, and it's not just me. So I, I don't think that's my internet this time around. I'm trying to, to contain the laugh that you all gave me such a hard time for last week. Uh, <laughs> Balrog no, look, revel, <laughs> revel in your laugh. <laughs> Balrog UK, I'm assuming he's, he's talking about my anniversary today, says it's all thanks to the Python. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh uh, yes. yeah, so, Charles McMenemy. Um, um, but before before we do that though, great. Let's start heading towards the uh, the next waypoint, so we're not spending too much time in this beautiful wanna, nebula. Do you want to fly through a canyon here or something? Yeah, we can do a, a, a canyon run real quick. Um, just to let you guys know, if you're not at Hind Nebula yet, I will tell you where we're going next. We are going to. Ba -ba -ba, da -da -da, hold on, I'm trying to find the. Here it is. Du, 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 du. We're going to uh, LBN623. Um, I will put the system name in chat. Oh, very poetically named. Charles Romani says, who's going to the Frontier Expo? Uh, it is. That would be about a, a $3,000 okay. trip for me, so I will not be going. I not am my, indeed my going. My feet now to the floor. <laughs> I already got a Founders ticket secured for myself, and I will be there. So if you guys plan on coming along, please do so and hit me up. Yes, you can it's find you can find yes. wherever Grey Test is sitting by the and towel beat, that's on beat the ground. Beat him up. That's right. <laughs> exactly. He'll have res reserved his seat with a towel. Yeah. I mean, fr uh, the Founders Pass does secure yourself a front row seat, so you're gonna know which seat it is by the towel on it. It will have a German flag on it. I'm, I'm gonna have to bring a towel now, then, don't I? <laughs> yeah, you are. You, you're gonna have to reinforce that stereotype for everybody. <laughs> you, know what I, you know what I just realized, Gray, is I don't have a uh, boost. Oh, push it. So, Booker. Beast Canyon runs are gonna be real boring. We'll, we'll do a little bit of a, a moving uh, external camera, though. I love this nebula. Hmm. So yeah, Scalebag says you're thinking about going. Well, don't think too long because I have the impression that these tickets are going to disappear pretty quickly. Uh, tomorrow is the last day you get the early bird prices. So if yep. you're on the edge, uh, decide quickly. Um, I don't know how much the price will rise. I imagine not too much, but still, if you can save some money yep. on the ticket, you can spend more on your hotel on or, or on your flight or however you get there. Or That's merch. something. So, yeah, or merch, of course. Merch. That's something I haven't quite figured out just yet either, um, where I'm going to stay or how I get there, but we'll see. Mm. There's something about peanut butter and jelly with a crunchy peanut butter. It would make good toast, that bread. Mm. Big slices Very like that. Very good toast. It would. Bit of honey on. Yeah. Mm. Oh, my God. Yeah, I won't be yeah. going because All the I don't go to anything. Founders sold out, um, George um, McManamy, but the founders yeah. only get you some extra flair, as far as I know, and a, um, the seats Congress. in the front row. Um, so the, the the standard tickets should be just fine for you if you would just want to come along, meet some people, and enjoy the announcements they're gonna make, because yes. they are gonna talk about. Elite Dangerous, of course, Planet Coaster, and also their new, currently still yes. unannounced game that Michael Brooks switched over to recently. Um, they're gonna have some big announcements for that, or the first announcement for that there. And also I... some big announcement about, about Elite Dangerous, what's gonna come up in uh, Pass 2.4, so where the game is gonna go next year. 
and I'm so, very much looking forward to that. I heard a theory about what this game franchise might be. So Muppets again? And uh, not not Muppets. <laughs> I still say it's Muppets. <laughs> I don't I don't know if it's like how because it's it is a movie franchise Compiling data that is beloved by pretty much every age group because every age group grew up with a movie as they were a kid pretty much um, and there hasn't been a game released about this movie since I think the Sega Genesis jump Charging I the have FTL heard down. a rumor that it could be Jurassic Park if they make a Jurassic Park video game, if Frontier does, if they do it right, dear God, that could be my childhood dreams complete. I mean, coming from Planet Coaster, that's not too far off, I would imagine. Nah, it's how, not. How, however, the gameplay of that game would look if it was, if it's gonna be a park builder or if it's gonna be more of a FPS or story type game, I don't know. I would but like a still, third person, a third person adventure game. Yeah, something like that. I can still see that totally. Um, where are you going currently? Uh, I missed that earlier. I still I'm sorry. Uh, LPN six two three, I believe. Six two three. Yeah, I'll put the uh, the system no. name in. Um, I'll in check admin. there. Yeah, Roger that. Um, but if it if it is Jurassic Park, I mean, it makes a lot of sense because if, if you also remember, um, the a big thing that uh. David Braben talked about during the Kickstarter and everything. System scan. Completing system scan Jump. for cartography. It, Chewy. Uh, was big game hunting mm. on these uh, on these worlds? You know, he after we got that. atmospheric landing. He did indeed. Yeah. And if it, talking about big game hunting and park builders, you put those two together and a world renowned uh, movie <laughs> franchise. Yes, that's what you get. <laughs> Jurassic Park. My ears. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I would love a Jurassic Park game. I would absolutely love it. Mm. Blade Runner, Ugin has Blade Runner too. That would be sweet. Um mm, seen a there was Blade Runner game for a long, long time. On Reddit there was um someone posted he was a uh Scanning now. Posted artwork of one of Frontier's new uh what is it? He was a he was some kind of designer. I think he was like a level designer or something, or um, or texture artist. Um, but it showed him something that he had released. Like it wasn't for any particular franchise or anything. It was just something he worked like on for like his resume or whatever. Uh, but it was first person, and he was walking around a futuristic neighborhood, and it had a very very Blade Runner esque mood to it. Mm. Oh yeah, um, I remember that. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, because I mean, if, there was if a sort that's of, what um, we're looking at. Oh man, there was a, a, a lovely. Uh, it, it was halfway between a sort of uh, interactive three D world and um, the old Lucas Arts uh, classics. Point and click adventures was the PC Blade Runner game of old. If you remember that one, mm. long ago, it was a good one that. I don't know, man. And, uh, and every time you started a new game, the yeah, like Charles Manami says, the replicant was different. Who you were hunting? Mm. You didn't know That's who cool. it was to be. Yeah, long time ago it was that. Good game. But yeah, uh, I, I just recently watched Blade Runner, and as a matter of fact, and I had a little chuckle when in the intro. Um, the year I think it was two thousand twenty four came up. <laughs> yeah, that's not too far away now. It's Blade yeah, Runner. Yeah, new life awaits you in the off world colonies. Twenty one twenty four maybe. No, twenty twenty four. No, I know I'm saying. Yeah. The way yeah, things are going maybe now. You always have to bump maybe it forward years, a bit. But yeah. we'll see. <laughs> Was that's it 2019? Like, yeah, I might be wrong there. It might have been 2019, in fact, so that's even closer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was it? What was the year in uh, Back to the Future 3? Or 2, rather. It was 20, oh, hold on, uh, hold on. 2017, Actually, wasn't it? Because just yesterday, uh, Sinclair Research uh, is saying it could still happen. Just yesterday, we were talking and we had a little discussion here in the Bro Bar about a new software that lets you live animate another person. You basically animate oh, your yeah. own facial expressions yeah. onto the video of, a, of another person and 
and somebody Jump. else posted the Ready, the, the, the voice drive. generating software, I guess, that could go along with that um, as well. So if you put those two together, you can pretty much not trust any video or any film oh, wow. you see anywhere anymore because it could be anybody else saying something and make the person you see say that, which is crazy. Thank you, Resender. Um, October 24th, 2015 was Back to the Future 2. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. I remember. But yeah, that's that's insane, man. I mean, yes, yeah, so, technology so, and AI and all of this, like you know, self-driving cars and Tesla coming out with crazy freaking. Oh my god. What is what your home system? Mine is Cremaine, yeah, says Jigums. Cremaine was actually my first home system as well. Like way back in the day, it's where I, I parked my Aspic Sport. I I remember. Um, Right now, mine, of course, is church, and I don't know about you guys. Um, well, I know where my home system is going to be, hopefully sometime this week. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it's a good segue to talk about what's going Perfect. on. Perfect. It could have uh, been better. So, last week, um, in uh, on our Discord, we have the uh, BGS channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the broadcast is starting a player minor faction called Starstone Enterprises. Uh, it's a subsidiary of Star. Uh, I almost said Star Trek. Dear God, Starstone Industries. <laughs> um, but uh, the uh, who was it? Uh, Brett works on it. Uh, Brett Lewis at uh, Frontier. And uh, last week he said he was starting on July's applications for uh, player minor factions, and we Scan sent now. ours July fifth. So uh, we should be first in line. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. We the, just uh, missed July. the last batch, pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, we missed it by like a week because we had to wait for you guys to vote. <laughs> should, should have just made an executive decision. We already would have had a home. I'm just kidding. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry. I have to keep stop talking. Jump. Frame should drive engaging. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, she doesn't want to say you're welcome because she's an asshole. But, uh, but yeah, sometime uh, it looks like if going by the timing of Brett has been releasing these, um, we could be getting it. Tuesday this week if we go by the timing of uh, his last batch uh, but this week we could be getting our minor faction which my home is gonna be squeezing on in there because right now I've uh, my home system is a uh, HR 6421 uh, with children of Raxla uh, I've got all my stuff over there um, but if we get our home system um, I will probably be uh, not pa super paying active millions. Well, I'll definitely be paying millions over. Um, but I, I, I'm going to be trying my best to stay active in the BGS and uh, make sure that you know we're doing the things that we need to be doing. Um, and in the BGS channel, I'll be trying to stay on top of you know letting you guys well, you know what you could do to help us out. Yeah. Um, but it, it's going to be a lot of fun, man. I can't wait. Oh, and we're two jumps away, and I can see the nebula. Five jumps for me. Orbit lines off. Orbit lines off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what is going on? Thank you. Nah, she, she's not good. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, I got angry and she did it. She knows her place. She knows when I get angry, it's time to start cooperating. Well, there's the nebula. It's purple. <laughs> that is a very purple nebula. Um, for those of you who don't know, actually what we're doing right now is we're going through the, uh, the waypoints of uh, the Small Worlds Expedition um, that went off. Uh, it was late last year. I think it was November or December they uh, set off for the Small Worlds uh, Expedition where they only went to Planetary Nebulae and they only used small ships. Um, and uh, Small Worlds Expedition 2 uh, uh, finished up a couple weeks ago, I think. Um, but uh, some of the nebulae they went to outstanding and you don't see purple nebulae like this this is the first time i've seen it um i went here i went to this nebula once before jump i just um, posted a reference system by the way for you guys if you want to follow along yep yeah, that's where we're heading um <laughs> Ugin says sing it again damn it um nah but uh i went here uh one time before when I made the uh, Small Worlds Expedition uh, trailer um, and this nebula is something to behold. I'm pretty sure the um, the system inside the nebula 
doesn't have any landable planets. But uh, the one we're going to right now does. Um, and, well, I mean, that's uh, the I'm thing. pretty sure it's got it's, a crazy planet in it. It's very often the case that when you reach one of these nebulae, that uh, when you're actually in it, Staying the view out. of the thing isn't very good. So you need to be just, just on the edge or just outside it to get a proper view. So yep. Oh, no, it's the next system. Landable's just outside this one. Jump. Preparing the FTL drive. Yeah, that purple... I, you don't see purple nebula. I love this. This isn't necessarily a planetary nebula. This one encapsules, I think... Uh, it's almost like three systems. Um, it's like a couple light years across, but it's still pretty small. Ooh, Balrog says if you try the new H uh, HCS story mode... Uh, I have not. I want to. HCS Voice Packs just released a uh, story mode. It's kind of a uh, for free. Yeah, for free. It's absolutely free. I'm pretty sure it's 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 kind of a uh, like an exploration adventure almost. Scanning for like, information. Oh, I think yeah, you basically I think it's like get some. Hunt -ish. You get some interactions with your with your voice on board of your ship, basically. Yeah. Uh, different voices, in fact. I think there's several in there, and there's a bit of a story that's been told there. Yeah. Which is amazing. Like I'll, I yeah, really I like that, that idea. Um, actually, uh, I'll I'll talk to Josh. We might make this a, a subject of a broadcast. That would be a lot of fun, I think. Sounds here we good. Are. Yeah, sure. Here we are just outside the nebula. Not gonna uh, jinx it, but I'm pretty sure Obsidian Ant is gonna beat you to it. Uh, he beats every everyone to everything. <laughs> But you have to give him that. that. He is always on point with, with his he videos. Is on like, top he of picks everything. so many good um, topics, and he always has them like right there in time for the for the topic to be, yeah, to be current, basically. Oh, guys! Yes, look at this nebula. Look at it! It's so beautiful. That that shade of purple, man. You don't see that. This this is a menacing looking nebula. Like I feel like like the Romulans need to be like busting out of which space and attacking us all right now. Would be the, warrior space for them probably. It's not menacing. Whatever. It's menacing. I, I think this purple one's more menacing than the That's, red ones. It's all it's all psychically mystic. It's a, a <laughs> Commander Machine says, don't yeah. think the guy sleeps. No, I, I don't think either. <laughs> no, no. No, he doesn't. And YouTube isn't his full-time job either. How... Obsidian, I'd like to shake your hand. How in the hell? Oh, oh I, I will on, on Frontier no, you can't <laughs> shake his hand. <laughs> oh, you, you bastard. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you won't be able to shake his hands, though, because he'll be too busy typing at the time. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> That was or a fantastic. Already scripting his next video about Frontier That was Expo. fantastic. He will. Uh, I am heading to five A. Oh, <laughs> the ant already posted that video. I jinxed it. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god! <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I did not know that. Jeez. One of the voices is Brent Spiner. Yeah, I forget which. Uh, with a voice in pack there as does. well. Um, some other voices. I don't recall which ones though. Alex better be in there. <laughs> You'll Sam, like her. Alex is my girl. <laughs> I love Alex. Alex and I have been through some shit. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, but let's see. There, I know there's one planet in this system that um, I uh, I visited uh, for that trailer, um, and it was absolutely insane it was completely covered in canyons can't remember which one it was i don't think that's the one i'll I just tell you like a noob. oh yeah man when you're flying away from the star how the nebula pops out oh it's so good yeah this nebula is outstanding oh there are some good canyons on this one there is a shatner voice pack indeed Orion, I believe, is his name. Yes. Oh man, look it, at look at those. Belrock says Eden is way sexier. I really love how there's like so many people enjoy so many different voice packs. Like everyone has their favorite. It's really cool. 
Yeah, there are really a, uh, a sign of an abusive of... relationship. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, uh, yes. Only responds to me when I'm angry. <laughs> Her and I had a bit of a fight last night, so. But, nah, uh, it was. Always keep in mind, she has power over the self destruct of your ship. She wouldn't dare. <laughs> you wouldn't know. At at least at least I'm not constantly asking her if she can hear me. <laughs> Burn. All right, I'm gonna see if I can make it to this mountain range over here since we did uh, canyons at the last one. Oh, and it's it's so vibrant. Oh, this is fantastic. I love this one. Guys, I love this one. Scalebags are saying any love for Leo in the chat. Norman loved it. Yeah, it was, um, uh, I haven't Holly, used Holly and Red Dwarf, of course. I haven't <laughs> used Leo. <laughs> you can visit the Thargoid base and say, tell us about Thargoid. So they're dead, Dave. They're all dead. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. Oh, I mean, look, look at this. This is. Perfect. Look at it. Is. <laughs> look at this shit. Standing. Uh, a different topic uh, that I don't know anything about, but I still want to uh, slice it here on for you guys. Uh, Rick and Morty tonight. You know what? I haven't watched a single episode of Rick and Morty. Me um, neither. That's why I'm saying it. I, but I'm sure many of the bros in chat oh, are yes. really enjoying I, that series. I am trying to convince my wife right now to uh, to have us start watching it because I it it seems like it would be right up my alley. I mean, it's <laughs> it's the yeah. same guy who wrote uh, Back to the Future. Uh, created Which Rick you and can Morty. Not now that you say that, you can actually see that. It's totally <laughs> Doc Brown and Marty. I can see Martin. that connection, yeah. Absolutely. It is 100% Doc dark Brown and Marty. It's a hell of a lot of weird esoteric stuff in it. Yeah, I'm sure you love Pickle it. Pickle Rick! Oh man, I've only first... I've only just, you know, started hearing about him as I've been reading up on the show and everything. Pickle Rick sounds like a, uh, a whole pickle of fun. Let's see if I can find a spot to land. Here we go. Look at that. First spot. No, unsuitable. You bastard. Here we go. Holy crap! Great test! <laughs> Chill your jets! Cool your tits, man. You about scared. I saw I saw the shadow and the light below me for a second. The shadow of my ship. I was like, what in the world is going on here? He got his towel on that spot before you did, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Oh man, would you look at that. I know I always get the same angle with the DBX, but that right there, man. That right there. I love All right, let's check that view out here. Much uh, yeah, taller. by the way, um Heterandria and KJN whatever, Keith, um you guys can come down here and then leave wing and wing other people in if there's anybody in the area that wants to join us. You should have our wing beacons to find us here on the surface. Why, why can I? Oh, I can't deploy because I turned off my. If, yeah, uh, I if, think co if Cookie thing. got a screenshot there, uh, you know, there'd probably be colors in it that haven't even been invented yet. Yeah, Cookie is amazing. Like, he has the eye for the shots, but he also does some post processing on them, which mm. just really, really brings out the colors and the beauty of these shots. Loves a bit of saturation. Oh there's, yeah, uh, there's a lot to be had there in that shot. Oh, indeed, and you even see the Pleiades back there. Mm. Oh, look at you going into your SOV. I'm not um, Unser John, uh, I play in open when I'm not on the broadcast. But on the broadcast, we always use the uh, Jay Hawkins private group. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can't. Which nobody can join it. Over this way a little bit. It's funny when you say Unser John, because that's German. It yeah. says Unser John. Oh, whatever. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's, that's, that's the American pronunciation. So. <laughs> wouldn't, it be, ah! be, wouldn't it be Johan? 
<laughs> Johan? Uh, no, the German name for Johan is Johannes. So it should be Unse Johannes. I mean, Johan is also a German <laughs> name. You, there's like hundreds of variations, I guess, of names. Man, this is why. This is why we play Elite Dangerous, guys. There you go. See, I was right. He's German. Hasselicht. So, <laughs> what is what is your FOV, Shabuka? What do you mean? Your field of view there. What have you got it set to? Because I uh, am at a hundred percent right now. Yeah. It's so beautiful! Man, I'm gonna go I up and down. Love this nebula. That's what I, when I see a mountain, yes. I have to I have to scale it. <laughs> Commander Grace says climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? Because yeah. he can. To hug the mountain. <laughs> to envelop <laughs> that mountain. To hug the mountain. <laughs> to envelop that mountain. That mountain. That mountain. Why is he climbing the mountain? <laughs> because he's in love. Oh, God. Yeah, it's true. Could have been written. For Sorry, we we had we had a bit of a uh, Captain Kirk moment then. Yeah, we did. <laughs> that was that was fantastic. If anyone does not know what we were just doing, you need to Google. Uh, yeah, Captain just Kirk YouTube, is climbing Captain a mountain. Kirk climbing a mountain. You'll find it. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll you'll know what we mean when you find it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, we got quite a few people over here now. Anybody coming along for the mountain climb? Uh, no one can keep up with you. Oh, come on. I'm not, not even, even trying that far yet. up there yet. Oh, man. I love this nebula. Everything's purple. It yep. is fantastic. Let me see if I can catch up with you. I don't think I can. You're a kilometer and a half ahead of me. In, in, in greatest terms, that's like six kilometers. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it, yeah, it, you, you it. might as well be on the other side of the mountain <laughs> or in another system. I mean, you wouldn't know how far that is, right? You use miles. <laughs> could, you know what you can do, for, greatest? For all you know, it could be like a light year. Thank you, miles. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting to hit the ground that soon. I know enough to know that's. You are now 1,700 meters away from me. Good. Yes. And a meter is about six feet-ish, I think, seven feet. It's um, no a, me a meter is three feet three inches. Yeah. Oh. Oh, See, that's. I know more about your stupid imperial units than you do. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> man, that whatever. mountain is way more steep than I expected. Holy it hell. always is, man. Yeah, but it, it, are you measuring that gradient in imperial degrees or in <laughs> newfangled metric degrees? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, that's one thing we can agree on is uh, angles. Yeah, because it, if you were looking at it in old school money, you'd be saying, oh, he's going up a one in six there. Oh, yeah. Instead of saying it, it's like some number of degrees, which makes more sense. I, I never could really understand the old one in thingy. Angles. Gradients. I'm gonna move over to the right a bit, and it's a little bit too steep here on this mountain face. I'm catching up! I'm less than a kilometer away now, even though I just spun out. How oh, I wish the gravity was higher on this planet. Uh, 0.04 G. I wish it was higher. That's, that's not bad. So that's, uh, yeah, he won't be flying Again, crazily up don't, things. don't drive up the mountain, fly up the mountain. That's the trick. Captain Kirk is flying Captain up the mountain. K Why is he flying up the mountain? <laughs> <laughs> God, that, that was popular when I was in high school, man. It was so funny. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, God. I, I effed up. I done goofed. Cause I can't stop bugging you. <laughs> oh man, this is really steep. It is. But the steeper it is, the higher you get. You know? 
it's all about the gold. That was that, that, that was that was very profound of you. Yeah, it sounds like it actually you should be a, that's what she said, whatever. but it doesn't make any <laughs> sense. No. <laughs> um, no, I'm actually no! talking about mountains. I actually no! went. No, stop! Are <laughs> you tumbling? No, not yet. I'm sliding. I went hiking yesterday. I had an awesome tour. I really, really wrecked my legs, but I enjoyed it. You can see the some of the pictures I took in pretty pictures on our Discord server if you want to. Had a blast. I'm going to mess this up so bad. Abandoned mining base. 11 K at 60 degrees. Oh, yeah, really? Gonna have a hard time scaling that, but I'm up for it. Alright, I'm sliding now as well. Just looking at them picks now, that is a, a, a wonderful forested valley vista you've got there. It was beautiful. And yeah. such a nice day. Like, you could see there were no Forever. clouds. You could see the, the whole mountain <laughs> range of the Alps all the way through. See the yeah, curvature of the earth! Ah! Hey! <laughs> oh, Charles McManamy says, So, Turgeon, are you looking forward to being able to buy some rum in Elite Dangerous? I, I, I wouldn't know anything about the, the rum market in Elite Dangerous. I, 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 I have no control over it, honestly. Turgeon steals all his rum. Well, Turgeon pirates it all. No, I, I, I liberate the rum. <laughs> I acquire the rum. From people who Morris, do not appreciate it, it guess, I'm assuming. <laughs> you better go, Gray. I'm catching up, man. I want to see you catching up in this terrain. He's letting you catch up, don't you see? <laughs> I done goofed! No! You son of a bitch, stop! Alright. Come on. Come on. Someone get out and push. Yeah, but I, I, I will just say on, on the record there about the rum thing that I find it utterly bizarre that you could have a, a, a drink like rum, allegedly. Oh, it's a recipe that's been lost. No, bollocks. <laughs> no. Yeah. If they didn't lose, lose the brandy, they didn't lose yeah, rum. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's just silly. Of all the things that you'd have out in space, in a dangerous universe with pirates, yar, you'd have space rum. Alright, I think I'm at least on the first peak here. Stop um, it! But it's not the highest one. We can go it's probably, over there. Um, Real space rum out this there. Is a this is just some. Uh, oh yeah, they look like that. I don't think it's lying in there. Why yeah, can I target? This probably just some poncy chefs trying to make their own. Oh look, we've made some rum. Are we not clever? No, you want proper space rum. The pirates are actually still making out there. Why can I target a bronzite chondroid 203 meters away? Did they increase the range where they appear on your scanner? Because I'm pretty sure that used to actually, be like 50 meters or so. Now you mention it, I think that does ring a, a distant bell. I think they might have actually just done that and tweaked it about a bit to make. I'm gonna fun. check external camera now to see which one of these peaks is higher. Where are we? It's like a whole mountain range. But hey, yeah, chat, chat's agreeing. Chat is saying yes, they did. They did tweak it. Oh, see, Shit. haven't been Shit. harvesting resources for a while. But this peak no. is close, so I'm gonna go on to this one and see where we end up. This was a mistake. Mistakes have been made. Regrets are being had. I'm trying to cheat, and it was a mistake. <laughs> I'll it was a mistake. The peak. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Iso says, I'm looking at Discord and I see a cow's ass and a naked grey test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's about right. Maybe, maybe I should have put a warning on there or something. About right. <laughs> not yeah. safe for work. There is nothing oh, wrong yeah. about a good, a good cow's ass, right? <laughs> no. That's not what it is. That's Depends where, on how well you treat her. That's where milk and chocolate comes from. Uh, a small skipper butterfly of some sort. 
Um, so I, I read something a, a little disheartening the other day. It said something like uh, 40%, no, one in four Americans believe that uh, chocolate milk comes from brown cows. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I saw that. If that's true, that's... Are people I making don't know this shit true. They're making this shit up. Yeah, they probably. Are. They've got to be. I don't know, but it's it's funny because I've been thinking about that a lot recently. <laughs> hey, 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 what do you mean with not suitable for pretty pictures? Get out of here! Oh! Get out of here! Who had that burn? Charles McMahon and me? Yeah. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Wait, you should ask the ladies. That's what you should do. I actually had an awesome time there because uh, on one of the... Yeah, well, how would you, what would you call those uh, houses there on on the mountain? Cabin. Um, yeah, I guess it was a cabin of sorts. There was like a, a super old lady just living there, with all leathery skin and oh, the classic yeah. and <laughs> gray hair and all. And she was just living there on on her own apparently. Her name was Annie. And when I when I came uh, along, so I I just walked by basically. She asked if I wanted to, to take a seat, and, and we had a chat for about 20 minutes, and it was awesome. She even brought out her, her um, binoculars, and we, we, we looked at the mountains in, in the far distance. That was really cool. See, if you wouldn't done that in the Appalachian Mountains here, you would have been killed and eaten. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> that's just the way Appalachians yeah. are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gotcha. Mountain people. The, f the further away from civilization you get, as it were, the shit, the, shit, uh, shit. The nicer people <laughs> tend to shit. be. Shit! You know? No! Hold on! What you guys, pray for there? me! Pray for me! Die! Die in death! That is, um. Die and death? Quite a, yes. quite a fall. Sorry. I yes, come on, Rod, wait a second. kilometers away. How would you, like, is that catching up? Is that what you call catching up? I was up within with me? 500 meters at one point, and then I goofed. Yeah. Commander Rod Wade said, "It's like real life Skyrim." Your photo. It's true. It is. This is very true. And then, and then ISO brings it back on track in the broken <laughs> broadcast. <laughs> you want some? I'm saying, saying old leathery oh, lady yeah. cows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is she? She actually offered me a beer. <laughs> is she? She was trying to get you nice and uh, nice and intoxicated. I'm not getting to intoxicated. By yes, ma'am. Who's the, the, um, the pool? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Have fun. Have the perv. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't need mini for that. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm back. I'm back. No, it's the thing. I mean, you, you get you get off the beaten track, and people. Are just more prepared to have a chat because you know pace of life is different. <laughs> life Hansel is and Grey Tester. Thanks, Charles. It is so great because that, isn't that isn't that a uh, German? Uh, yes, it is. Folk story. Hansel yeah. and Gretel is a German uh, yeah story for for children, I guess. Very that is old. not a child-friendly story. Not at all. No, witches, all the proper witches old... Witches are being burned, uh, and yeah. children are being eaten, I guess. The, the proper old fairy tale. of children none of being them. eaten. Yeah, none of them are for children, really. Yeah, um, it, Well, not for it? modern children. Not for your modern namby-pamby yeah. children. Yeah. But for children, you know, 800 years ago, they could, they could handle stories like that. Um, what was uh, it? We Little, are Little Mermaid. We are currently on planet 5A. Uh, the Little Mermaid was based on a, uh, a Nordic story, I believe, that was uh, very violent. Oh, there's, there's always, yeah. There's always, there's... And the original Grim Tales, if you actually read the original Grim Tales, they're um, not like the sanitized versions you get today. That your social justice warriors are on about. No, yeah, you're I, proper, I recall proper old fairy tales. A book back in the days with a story called uh, Struvelpeter. I'm pretty oh, sure, like yes. the Absolutely. Netherlands, ha in the Netherlands, yeah. it's pretty much called the same. I'm pretty sure. It's mm. it's a story about a guy who, I, I think he doesn't want to eat his soup or something. I, I actually, it's been so long, I don't quite recall the exact story. Uh... But in this book, there were some absolutely gruesome 
images. Yeah, I think it was Wilhelm Busch. Yeah, you're right, Red Mobula. That's the author. And those those uh, caricatures or or what you would what you would call it those uh, illustrations. It's illustrations exactly. Were absolutely gruesome in places. Like fingers oh! were being fingers were being cut off and stuff like that. And I, yeah. I read that as a child <laughs> myself. Well, and that's that's the point. I mean, they, they were meant to be. Uh, uh, moral moral tales of what happens if you do things wrong. With yeah, the, uh, exactly. The story. And it worked. And yeah, you scare I, kids. I'm, I'm a good boy now. <laughs> yeah. Lights off, Shibuka. I was getting a screenshot. There you go. Wow, that looks beautiful. Oh man. Whoops. What did I do? Um, in, case, in, case you, in case you were wondering, this is a make out point. What is it? Make out point. Make out point. Are we supposed to make out now together? You, it, oh, okay, I guess it must be an American thing. It was it was a big thing like back in the fifties. Like uh, they would name like scenic overlooks people would park at and make out point. It's always Lovers Lane, isn't it? <laughs> or Lovers Lane, that works <laughs> too. A little countryside. Uh... Look at that, man! Unfortunately, around my neck of the woods, you find these these out of the way little uh, country tracks that lead to scenic views, and that's where people go to commit suicide. So, oh wow! Yeah, it's unfortunate. We we actually had um, when 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 my dad was in practice when he was uh, local GP there. Uh, Jack Morgan. Three, three suicides in the same spot over a course of I don't know several years, and oh god, people had chosen. That, that people in the same deranged state of mind, suicidal people, had chosen the same spot. It's it's mm. a thing, you know? It's a creepy mm. thing. But it was a very pretty spot, I'll grant them that. <laughs> and Jack Morgan, you do have your control in air. You just have to roll your ship and then tilt. That's the old-fashioned way to do it. Yeah, There is no actual way. yaw control, though. But yeah, you don't you need it. To. Whoa now! Whoa! Uh, whoa! Whoa! Hold them horses! Somebody's having a bump here. Had to Somebody's run having a laugh. Gray, you are so ricey with those neon lights on your SRV. Ricey. Ricey. Like those Japanese cars with the lights under them. <laughs> Alright. I am going to... Alright, uh, Header Andrea. I am going to recall my ship. Hopefully it will land on top of this mountain and not 30 kilometers away. Sinclair says, up north we have railway bridges. We do. A lot of, lot of um, aqueducty, viaducty, classic Brunel style. <laughs> it's either good old brickwork ones by Telford or uh, Brunel's ironwork ones up in the north. A lot of scenic railway bridges, classic ones. Mm. Brilliant Victorian engineering. There's is that, I love. Is that ricey oh, enough for woo, you? Woo, woo, woo. It's not, <laughs> you're running into me, so yes, crashing into other cars is plenty ricey. Were you in a, a Mustang leaving a Cars and Coffee just now? What? There, cars and Coffee is like uh, car meets on sa Saturday mornings. Where yeah. a bunch of people will come together, bring their cars, and Ford Mustangs are notorious for trying to do a burnout when leaving and either hitting a car <laughs> or spectators <laughs> because they're um, cheap rear-wheel drive I'm cars just, and I'm people can't sure drive them. Way. I'm pretty sure you're in the way. I'm pretty sure you're in the way. Oh, right. that was close. <laughs> <laughs> Whose purple one is that? Where's my ship That's at? That's not purple. That's my chrome one, and it's reflecting. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It's awesome though. I love how it looks. Nice. Where's wow. my ship? Why is why is my ship all the way over there? Alex has deserved you. you suck. Get good. <laughs> Alex doesn't like you anymore. I actually don't want to. I don't want to hop into my ship now. I wanna. I wanna jump down the mountain or something. No. What? Put it in reverse. No. <laughs> you can't reverse in the air, laddie. Oh no. Well, I accidentally turned myself around in the air. I was trying to play it off, but it wasn't working. The fast and the oh, greatest. Here we go. The 
fast and the greatest. <laughs> my my SRV control means that roll plus pitch is uh, equals spinning wildly out of control. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful with that. But if you can make it work, it it oh, just works it parked well. like how am I supposed to get back in this? Okay, look look at my my left engine. I don't want you to get back in. Look you at this. That. It's it's in the <laughs> mountain. <laughs> well, try to find the Oh great! What the bloody hell do you want? You know what? Whatever it is, you can't have it. So sod off, okay? That's what your ship's saying, <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's your ship. There. I can't get back in here. Yes, you can get in there. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Barely. Yeah. How is this a landable area? It's landable. Nobody oh, yeah. said it would be. It uh, would be uh, dockable. Dockable. <laughs> yeah. Landable. The DBX fine. is in the mountain. Why is the DBX in the mountain? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Charles McMahon. And me. That was good. I don't need SRV ship kits, I just need new SRVs, Rod Raider. And I really, really hope we'll hear something about ready, that on Frontier Expo. No. All right, then. I was talking to the ship, not to you, Great Test. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so, what's next, All man? Alright, next on the list, let me pull it up. We are going to... All the name is is RCRA. I don't want to go, this is so beautiful. I know, I know. Bookmark this one. R C R A. Bookmark this one. That doesn't work. Uh, here it's. I'm plugging it in. It is. Uh, how far is this? Yeah, Commander uh, Machine says. Ooh. Is this is the expo going to be streamed? I'd be surprised yes. if it wasn't. <laughs> yes, they will be streaming. <laughs> there will actually be multiple streams. Like uh, they yeah. will have, um, of course, Ed Lewis, I guess, streaming again. Yep. Um, but also some of the community streamers, content creators, might be uh, might having might be having some boosts, but we don't have confirmation on that yet. So we'll see. R C R A. System name. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to that a lot. So I already um, hit them up um regarding this but i think we'll only get a response once bo Merritt is back from vacation she's currently at a wedding as far as i've seen and that must be like the second of august so that's when we might know if we the broadcast will actually get a streaming slot on the expo which would, would be, be awesome um Obscure. you would have to host it gray yeah i know i know i'm scared but hey it's my first it's my <laughs> well, first You'll likely have uh, a better net connection there. <laughs> certainly. <laughs> so no, at I... least that issue will be out of the way, but yeah. it, it's my first... Uh, I'm missing name, uh, words again. Convention, thank you. The first convention I'm going to overall. Yeah. I've yeah. never been to a games yeah, or yeah. any other convention for, before, so it's yeah, going to be good was, regardless. PAX is my first yeah. one. I so saying, am I going? No, I'm not. I, I, I'd love to go anywhere, actually, but I, I'm sort of stuck here 24-7 being a, a carer for me. 87-year-old dad he is now. So I'm kind Bloody of like pinned to the ground here. I can't go anywhere, literally, except I take the dog out for a while. You'll be with us in spirit and in always detergent. Nice. Yeah, always spirit, a bit of rum. Get a bit of rum. I actually already ordered my t-shirt. Um, unfortunately, there was no space for the broadcast logo anywhere. I put the rock reds on the back and my own logo on the front, so I'm gonna need some other <laughs> item <laughs> to <laughs> represent are. the broadcast. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I, I've been yeah. a rock red before. I've been a broadcast co-host. I've got, I've got rock go. cross from me, yeah, but yeah, no, it's not you guys. No, forget that. Jump. There wasn't any room Jump. left. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll find Marginalized. something. Maybe, maybe I'll get a hat or something. We'll see. Broadcast Expo booth with German beer and street waffles. That sounds like I, a party. I will bring street waffles along if I if I get my hands on some before I go. Definitely. So uh, yeah. If you well, know, if you, you can... come and say hi, waffles and probably also on stream if we're gonna have one. Now I will tell you, uh, whenever I uh, come to Europe. Um, I'd like to come to Europe sometime and, and meet a lot of our European uh, viewers and everything, but I will not drink warm beer. 
<laughs> no. Why not? Completing not gonna happen. It needs to be Stand cold. By. Gathering information. <laughs> what? Cartography. Is My beer has shade. to be cold. Cold. Well, and yeah. you think we drink our beers warm or what? Is it is that not like a European thing to do? No. Yeah, we, we have saucepans with boiling beer all the time. No, of course we bloody don't. <laughs> Where did Why I hear you? this? <laughs> Why would you drink your beer warm? Good lord. No, it's, no, it's, maybe it's maybe it was these... hot wine. Maybe it was hot wine. Is that a thing over there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it, I mean, I'm certain do some people might do this, but wine. no thanks. It's, it's, warm beer, know, okay. My bad. Ignorant American Christmas. alert. Ignorant American alert. I am not <laughs> cultured. No, it, that that is actually that is actually a thing that uh, people moan about warm beer in pubs in London. I think sometimes. Okay. You know, I'm about to run out of fuel too. Now. I don't know why. I, I, no, I can't say I've ever actually encountered any pub that serves. I mean, yeah, in winter <laughs> we do beer. have we do have something here called Glühwein, which is warm wine but mm. not only yeah, wine it's, that, um, yeah. it's a mix of spices and stuff mm. in there yeah uh, well we have um, uh, yeah mulled wine mulled Christmas wine it, it's a thing it's a traditional thing I think uh, it's a traditional thing in England yeah. because we probably Charging swiped it from the Germans dry. in the Victorian era with Prince Albert because he brought an awful lot of Christmas over here to England to Prince Albert yeah Grog of course as well what I the really enjoy ever had. <laughs> in the winter is meat. I don't know what the English meat. Well, meat, meat is meat. Yeah, meat. Yeah, meat. right. Yeah. Meat, of course. Um, yeah. Net Jack I, says we no, have I'm... a beer, not a water that tastes like beer. <laughs> not, true. Not also Very true. Not meat myself, I have to say. I mean, it, it's it's a, a thing. It's as old as it's, oh, it's as old as England. It's yeah, meat. I really love uh, that stuff. But it's. I, 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 I never really got much of a taste for it, I have to say. I mean, for me, honey oh, is, is something that should be used as in honey, not mature. Oh, there you go. Jakob Le Bolle says Njot. Information, cartography, Njot, yeah. Njot, it's, if, if it's that's, probably it, an if that's how you pronounce that, that I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, for those, of you, for those of you talking shit about American beer, I will tell you right now, there is not a brand of American beer that I like. Well, it oh, depends what you define it's as American beer, because an awful lot of the American beers are actually European beers made in America, aren't they? I guess that's true. Uh, and that's probably also the reason why, in the recent, in the recent years, you have so many of these small home breweries coming up, and like every now, YouTuber or streamer you see having their sort of special yeah. IPA crazy Thanks, beer amazing. drink IPAs, mix, whatever. Dear God, I cannot yeah. drink an IPA. Um, <laughs> but there are What's some local that, breweries... Um, there's a space sale where people fired the, uh, uh, the, the, I think they fired the hops into orbit with a, a tiny rocket and then recovered it when it came back down. Ooh, and that sounds interesting. It's quite fun. Crazy space um, Microbreweries, yes. They're, um, I live in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, and in this area, it's called the Triangle. It's Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill, uh, three big uh, cities around here. Um, there are a lot of really, really good microbreweries that I enjoy. Um, but as far as like big name, Gathering like when you think American beer, you think Bud Light, you think Miller Light, you think uh, uh, Michelob, uh, things like that. I can't drink any of that. It tastes like piss. Coors, I can't do it. <laughs> it tastes like piss water. And the thing is, Jump. like. In in Jump. America, you can pretty much put anything into the mix and still call it a beer. Yeah. Here in Germany, you can't do that. If you want to call something a beer, then it may only have water. Um, I don't know the English word for hopfen right now, but the, the, the bitter stuff and malt, basically. So there's nothing else in there, and that's all you make your beer from. Uh, uh, except, of course, the... Um, Again, missing the English term, I'm sorry, the Hefe, which makes the alcohol in the end. That as well. Oh, I don't know. Hops? Yeast? No. <laughs> Yeast. <laughs> Yeast. That's the one. Yeast. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Funny how, how different the words Piss are. Pisswasser! Piss Rod Wasser, Waiter yeah. comes in with the Grand <laughs> Theft Auto. Well, they're, they're, yes. they're only a bit different. They're not that Jump. different because if you imagine a sort engaging. of mutilated pronunciation in the past, they're probably most of them are from the same root word. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ray Mobula, I actually have seen Belgian beer. Uh, I I have actually tried, I think it's called Krik beer before. It's a cherry beer. Ooh. And that was actually really good. I enjoyed yeah, there's, that. There's a microbrewery um, in the town called uh, Clayton. Um, yes, Raleigh is hosting this year's International Flat Earth Convention. <laughs> really? Yes. Really? Like anyway, I'm not even I'm not even gonna talk about that. Um, yeah. What I will say is there's a microbrewery in Clayton that's about uh, it's where my wife is from. Um, but they Clayton. make a watermelon beer that in the summer when it's hot outside that watermelon beer is uh, amazing. That's interesting. It's so good. I can it's a very kind of light imagine beer. What that would taste like? It's yeah. a very light beer. It's very fruity, but it it just mm, it's so good. By Jump. the way, Jack Morgan, you have to Punch put it. this uh, differently. You have to say Rally is hosting this year's global flat Earth convention. Ah! <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> See, Ray Ray Mabolas have watermelon beer. It's good, man. And Cal Irvas four hours from Raleigh. That would put you either Charlotte area, maybe Asheville, maybe uh, Elizabethtown, if you're northeast North Carolina, maybe South Carolina or Virginia. But anyway, um, yeah. Hey, like, Command Commander Platon's there. He's, he's just joined for the beer. Hi, mate. Information. Hey, Platon. <laughs> he, he knew we were talking about beer, so he popped it. My favorite beer of all time is a Mexican beer called Negro Modelo, and I'm sure I've talked about it on the broadcast before. It yeah, is like, so yeah. like something. Good. It's it's uh it's called the Black Label. Black Label. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, the the regular beer, jump, um, is called jump. Modelo Especial, uh, which is special model. Um, but Negro Modelo is basically the Black Label of that particular beer. Gotcha. It's it's kind of it's a darker. It's not a dark beer, but it's darker than like a light beer. Um, but you put a, a, a lime slice in it. Oh, God, it's so good. Charles McManamy is saying that uh, the way this is going around the Dutch challenge, there'll be a beer tasting. I'll be up for a beer tasting <laughs> challenge. Oh my God, yes. I'm <laughs> sitting here drink, drinking beer for two hours, that did yeah. Sounds good to me. Uh, Calerba, Southeast Virginia. I uh, I got a speeding ticket in Virginia once. Compiling data for cartography. They do not kid around, Virginia State Troopers. Beer review. I am so down with a beer review. Jump. Yeah, yeah. You I see, we've got Plato and ISO there talking about the local breweries. I, yes. I would have pretty much a unlimited supply of different sorts of beer here, because I have a a. You're like the beer capital of the world. Yeah, that of Germany. course. Germany. I mean, I have a store like right next door, which uh, with probably like three hundred different sorts of beer, and my cousin actually makes beer himself. So if if we ran if we run out of that, I can always make new beer. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a beer that's really good. I I don't know uh, what microbrewery makes this, but it's called Dragon's Milk, um, and it's it's kind of a it's kind of a chocolate beer, but kind of not. Scanning now. It's a very thick beer. I, but, I um, beers are weird. If you just say yeah. dragon's milk, I I can't help but it's think so about good. that, that it's aged, different it's, kind of milk. You know, oh I, I wouldn't want to taste no. that. It, it's 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 aged in uh, wooden um, bourbon barrels. Jump. That's always nice. If you have these these kind so of flavors good. in there, that's Cancel always jump. very interesting. Cancel. Why am I jumping to a brown dwarf? I turned all of these off. Alex hates you. That's why I didn't <laughs> check the fly filter to wrap. trying to kill you. Hmm. It's trying to kill you. <laughs> there we go. Jump. Drives engaging. Is Shibuka talking about that woman on the mountain with greatest wit? Ooh. Uh, Aged in, uh, are you asking if, um, Grey Test, if, or if she was aged in wooden bourbon <laughs> barrels? I don't know. She certainly looked like it. <laughs> <laughs> Completing system scan. Stand by. Oh, man. Gathering information. Cartography 
has now been Merriman's taken. old fart. Oh yeah, absolutely. We've got some woman's some milk. Qual quality ah. name beers. Ugh. Iso no. No Iso. Just no. just no. Just no. That's a that's a big old negative Scanning Ghost Rider. Um, but yeah, uh, I, was I talking about Monkey Shoulder when we were live, or was that before we were live? That was before we were live. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I now this is this is I'm getting a little away from beer. I'm talking about scotch now. Um, but uh, oh, I need to refuel. I'll park and talk. Um, so uh, uh Sam Denny, who is um, I believe he is uh one of the sound guys. Um, or one of the, um, he's either sound or animation or he does something on Planet Coaster. I, I forget. I'm sorry, Sam, if you're watching or if you hear about this. But anyway, um, he suggested a, um, a scotch called, uh, Monkey Shoulder. Um, and, uh, Ducros of, uh, he, you know, he, he pops in here every once in a while. Ducros, um, also, uh, recommended it to me. And, uh, I found it yesterday. And I tried it last night. Oh, my God. Monkey Shoulder is a seriously good scotch. Holy crap. It's like, it's kind of smoky and, and woody, and it's got this. this oh! Come on. Good. Pop it's your good. affiliate link in there already. I already have. <laughs> 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 if it would say slash Shabuka there, that would be funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, it's so good. I am not getting paid by Monkey Shoulder or anyone. That's to what you. This, wait, you say that now. That's not. That's, that's not what, what you say on the show. That's what it says in the contract, right? It's supposed to in the contract that I'm not getting paid. Um, you have no, to say that from uh, there. <laughs> uh, but it's good. Monkey Shoulder is. Mm, I, I was I was surprised I found it. Um, I uh, it took me a good while to find it. There was only, they only had three bottles in the ABC store that I went to. Jump. Um, and for those of you who are not American, ABC store is basically our liquor store. Um, at least on the on the East Coast. I'm pretty sure there are some states where you can buy in liquor in a gas station in the U.S., but not in certain states. Like, here, you, you have to go to an ABC store. Because here, ABC stands for Atomic Bio, uh, Biological and Chemical Weapons. Yeah, it's one of those stores. <laughs> I guess it's a, it's a, it's a so. blended It's a blended scotch whiskey, but it is good. It's only an NC thing? I, oh, oh, ABC stores. I thought you were talking about Monkey Shoulder for a second. I was like, nah. Nah, ABC stores, I guess it's just an NC thing. Whatever. Cali has liquor, liquor stores called ABC stores. They're state controlled, yeah. State runs them. Virginia has um, them as well. Yeah, I, I, it's just certain states. Like, I know in, like, uh, New York or. Look at me, knowing, knowing. Pennsylvania. U.S. state abbreviations. I know, man. I know DE is Germany. <laughs> wow, good math. Oh, well it's Cause, not G E. Cause what does jump. it stand for? Frameshift drive engaging. Doucheland. You said it on purpose, uh, right? He did it. He did it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, I did. Good lord. I'm not even mad, that was funny. Uh, Doucheland, yeah, that's a good one. America. America. <laughs> America. <laughs> The oh, Delaware. God. <laughs> yes, D is Delaware. Yeah. Oh man, D Germany. Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, having a good laugh here, and I'm hot. Uh, I'm getting like, a little warm too. No, you see, we've got we've got the proper snobs coming on chat here now. People saying, "Oh, that's a blended whiskey." No, Please, you've got to have a single malt. You don't have blended whiskey. Nah, yeah. it's, this is. It's well, good. my favourite. Is uh, as telling before it's like a bowling, which is insanely expensive, but that is uh, a single malt. Jump. Frame should uh, drive engaging. You know, I, I'm not. I, this this is it's my first time. You, the alpha male of malts, like a bowling. Oh, that. <laughs> the biggest, the most intense, the alpha male of malts. Now, does it, it actually says that in the description? That's what it says. It actually says that. <laughs> <laughs> That just sounds like a douchebag. If you go up to someone and you say, I drink the alpha male of single malt Ugh. scotches, <laughs> everyone's just going to be like, I'm going to punch you in the face. Can I strangle you, please? Yeah. Well, I mean, Glenn, 
Glenfiddich's nice, but I mean that's what I that's what I used to drink until I, I, mean, I don't drink like a I don't drink like a bullet now because it's too expensive. But yeah. <laughs> if I had the money, I would be drinking like a bullet. Um, this is actually uh, my my first time. Talisk is really, my second favorite. This um, is my first time actually really um, stepping out oh, Delaware, outside of uh, outside of regular whiskeys and trying um, uh, scotches and whatnot. Um, so I'm, I've always been a big uh, Jack Daniels guy. Uh, hold on. Because America. Glenn Livet, yeah. Punch it, Chewie. Cooking whiskey. Uh, I actually, I actually have a cognac here, a Hennessy. Uh, oh. It's been a while since I had that one, but I, if I remember correctly, that was pretty Hen nice as well. Is it, is it Hennessy uh, Supercar too? Uh, I don't know. I don't what recall I a car of? named Hennessy. Hennessy. It's, it's the. I gotta find it. I'll Google it after the broadcast. Hennessy. I'm pretty sure it's a. Supercar. It's not spelled the same. I know. It's, I know what. I know what. I know what Hennessy is. But uh, oh, Jack Daniels. Oh man, Jack Daniels. No, honey. What are you talking want, about? If you want whiskey type, that's syrup. That's Drambuie. Gathering information. Oh. Cartography has now been updated. Now it, really it was is. really weird because I'm so used to uh, Jack Daniels, and Jack Daniels is a very sweet whiskey. Um. And I was a little taken aback by Monkey Shoulder at first, but it has grown on me immensely. Jump. Preparing the there you go. Hennessy Venom Supercar. You actually were right. Yes. But I never heard about that here. Yeah, yeah it's, that's a bad car, depth. man. It, and somebody made it here ahead of us. In, in the PT, the PT whiskeys. Mm. PT? Pete. Pete. As in Pete. <laughs> as, in, as in... Pete, you know, the, the stuff that when you talk about sods early, that's what we talk about Pete. Well, Pete Marshes. Pete? It's it's uh, bogs, marshes. That, uh, ah, okay, marshes. The water is, is anaerobic uh, because it's acidic, and so it all just eventually compresses down hey, over centuries we're here. and turns into Pete. We are indeed. And okay, I have no idea what this nebula Gathering looks like. information, cartography updated. Hold on, I have no earthly idea. Oh, I'm not here. I still have a jump left, I think. Two jumps left. Oh, I can kind of see yeah. it. That's very Pete bright. Pete Moss. Pete Moss, Pete Bog, call it what you will, yeah. Jump. But yeah, that's uh, that's uh, all the water that's sort of in, in, the, in those general areas is what they use for these uh, these particular whistles. There you go. Hennessy makes the Venom, which is a Lotus Elise with a thousand horsepower engine that does 270 miles per hour. Holy and for those of you, hell. For those of you who don't know what that is in kilometers per hour, it's a hell of a lot more than 270. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> 0.6 times more, which would put yeah. it around 450, oh God. I guess? Yes. Yeah, 450. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell. Can you, I can't imagine going that fast, man. I mean that even for German autobahns, that's too fast. That's like, way you too fast. To drive. That's, oh, you would, yes, you would have to have a, a racetrack yeah. to do that. A, a, a you're going 270 track. miles an hour. You hit a crack in the road. It's you're you're done. Yeah, yeah you're done. Exactly. Like there, there's not even many tires that can actually take that speed. Right now. Oh, that would be a, a SRV racing at Beagle Point on distant worlds. That's what you'd be facing <laughs> there. Yeah. <laughs> Well, is that it right there? Yeah, Ooh, great. that is pretty. Mind you, we're doing the same Jump. kind of speeds in the that SRVs, aren't we? Engaging. Because they're measured in meters per second. Yeah. Well, not what? quite. So, someone, second, someone convert nine. 40 meters per second to yeah, kilometers per hour. Yeah, 3.6. So that would put it at 120, 146, I guess, 45, yeah. something like that. So that's not as fast, but no. pretty fast. That's still, that's still that, pretty that's fast. Like usual autobahn speeds. Yeah, but you're in a small, bub small bubble of glass with some spring rods with wheels on the end. I mean, you know, you don't want to push in that at that speed, do you? Um, so I, I'm going to tell you guys a, a quick story that is very do as I say, not as I do. I do not condone this. This was a stupid thing that I did, and I'll never do it again. Um, now. The last car I had was a 2010 Mazda Speed 3. And uh, I raced somebody on the interstate. Um, and he blew my doors off because he was in a Pontiac GTO. And uh, I just kept, I tried to keep up with him as best I could. 
you know, I was failing miserably, but I was having fun. I didn't really, I wasn't looking at the speedometer, I was staring at the road, and I was staring at the road, I looked down and realized that my hood was shaking. Oh, like it was about to good. come off, and I was like, oh my god, what is going, I looked at the speedometer and I was doing 140. And that was about the time to where I'm pretty sure that if there had been a lot of coal, if I was sitting on coal, when I got up, there would be diamonds in my seat. <laughs> like, I have never had this, there was a moment of sheer terror, and I swear to you, my heart just like dropped to where it was like sitting next to my testicles. And yeah. it was, I'll never do it again. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can, I can say that I've done it, but I'll <laughs> never do anything like that ever again. It, 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 it is the single thing that has scared me the most. Yeah. Like, I, I was I can't terrifying. Say I'm, I'm not a, a big fan of, of speed, really. Like, no. I know mm -hmm. some people get off on it, and they really, and they do that. They go, oh, do it again, do it again. No, I'm like you in that. Once, that's enough, thank you. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I like, I like, <laughs> I like acceleration. Not so much top speed. Reminds me of that bit in the, you know, the old <laughs> Planes, Trains, and Automobiles film with uh, John Candy and Steve Martin. Where they get into the running with the, the trucks, and then afterwards you have Steve Martin. He's pulling his fingers out of the dashboard. <laughs> his, his fingers stuck in the dashboard. And I was like, yeah, that's what I'm like when it gets a bit speed. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, let's let's head over to the uh, the system where this nebula is. The R C R A nebula. Uh, I says, I says, what? Like even more yeah. frightening than here, and you're going to be. Oh, you like it? Where, where are you at right now, Gray? <laughs> well, I'm just here in, next to you in space, but we could get, go to one of the landable planets here and see if we can find okay. something nice. Yeah, let's let's head, let's head to a head to a landable planet, and then uh, we'll go to the system. Because I'm certain from inside the nebula, the view is not going to be as good. Yeah, probably not. Oh, Koenigsegg. Is that how you pronounce that? Koenigsegg? Koenigsegg. Koenigsegg. Those things look terrifying. It's funny how like you guys bugs. cannot pronounce an U. U. Koenigsegg. Koenigsegg. Koenig. Where are the other drugs going? <laughs> so, uh, heading towards the planet now. <laughs> Feuer frei. Bang, bang. Oh, that that was that song was in triple X. Yes, it was, and I really enjoyed it back then. I because I know that because I just watched triple X like the other day. <laughs> that is no. definitely one of my uh, guilty pleasures. That movie. Hey, ISO is here in the Wait, USS been here Firestorm. For quite a while. <laughs> oh, has he? Yeah, he's just he's been stalking you. Have you not noticed? <laughs> Where the heck are you, Gray? I'm Gray? going to the first planet around the gas giant here. Okay, where are you going? Oh, we. There you are. Okay, I got you. <laughs> oh man, Jesus. Yeah, the rattling, like when you're going that fast, if you're not in a car that's made to go that fast, things start to rattle, things start to shake. Yeah, things that shouldn't just, be rattling. Things, <laughs> the thing that scares me the most is things get floaty. And if you've ever yeah. gone that fast in a car, yeah. you understand what floaty is to where, like, you turn the wheel and it's like mm. your car is trying to get airborne. And it just <laughs> feels like the car's floating yeah, a little bit. It's exactly. terrifying. Yeah. It is not a good, it's not terrifying in a way like, oh, this is awesome. It's terrifying in a way like, I'm going to yeah. die. I mean, on rails, well, terrifying. Like, a, yes. we, know, a, we have a, a 55 fair. horsepower Twingo, Renault Twingo. So I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> but yeah, if you if you drive like 130 kilometers an hour, that's pretty much the top speed of the thing in that thing. It's fucking scary because that thing is lowered because the old suspension was broken. So the replacement part to lower it was actually cheaper than to replace it with an original part. So it, it's lowered. It's light. It's like, I don't know, 700, 800 um, kilograms. And... I mean, right now it's probably not even doing 55 horsepower anymore. It's probably more like 40 or so. But if you get it up to those speeds, it's scary because you can feel every single bump. You you feel like the thing is falling apart, and yep. at, at least you feel every little bit that the car is doing. So you really know if you can if it can handle it or not. But mm. that's the only good part about it. <laughs> yeah, 700 There's kilograms some... and 55 horsepower. I I wouldn't want to 
do much more than 130 kilometers an hour. Yeah, I think 140 is really what it can do, but that's where it maxes out, really. Unless you go downhill with the backwind. With the backwind. <laughs> There's a really nice canyon slash crater thing here. Dang it, Gray. My angle was too sharp. That's what. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> that. I, I, I thought about it, but then I realized it wouldn't make <laughs> yeah. any sense, so I just didn't, but you did, of course. Where are you? There you are. Well, uh, depends. It had to be done. You know, nerdy girls. Nerdy girls would say that. <laughs> oh, a GXR750? I... Nope. I would die. Nope. I would want to sit on that plateau right here. That looks nice. I see what plateau you're talking about. Yeah, Europe drives German cars. Germans drive Twingos. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, that thing was like 1600 euros when we bought it, and it's now 17 years old, so it's we just couldn't afford anything else, really. All reliable. That's all you need. All reliable. I, it had some flaws, and we, ha we had to do some repairs on it, but nothing too major, so... It did its job for the family. That's all you can ask. Well, Commander Plate is catching up there. He wasn't here earlier when people said who was going to the expo and who wasn't. So Gray is going. Aren't you Gray? Gray's going to find I am expo. going, yes. I managed to secure a Founders Pass, and as I understand, you did as well, Plater. So I'm very much looking you forward can, to meeting you there. Yeah, you can chub up and do a, do a stream, a pair of you. Yeah, we'll see. Once once FDAF comes back to us, uh, we'll see how the whole streaming thing is going to be set up and what's going to be possible or not. But I'm very excited, man. Can't wait. Come on. Are we you're lined up, Gray? No, you have to go forward about a quarter of the ship length and further to the right, you're going to be touching. No touching the greatest. No touchy. A bit forward. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna do this the right way. An excellent camera, like a boss. I'm gonna do there this the go. Star Citizen Perfect. way. Now you have to do... I guess you have to go further to the right so you can get a touchdown spot. I said no touching the greatest. Yeah, show me on this DBX model where the nasty man touched. <laughs> <laughs> Charles is going as well. And the HP is going as well. Nice. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a glass roof, but it has a foldable roof, so I can go cabriolet whenever I want to, which is pretty awesome. Dang it. What in the world, Plateau? <laughs> Just go for hey, to the right, man. We you were aligned up perfectly. That is land on you. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's just Savi telling you to bugger off again. Of course. Oh, that's it. Right. Can I park? Can I park here? Hey, Mark Wheeler we as well. Nice man. Here. So bugger off, right? No, I refuse. Sinclair, we are on planet A1. A1A, in fact. Alright, here we go. This is weird to do in external camera. You're not gonna get it. Gray's already got his parking spot. Mine? 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 <laughs> yeah. Go to your own plateau, man. There we go. Finally. It's like we're we're parked up in a... That's a, a pretty good parking job if I do say so myself. Well, it's good you are, because we're not going to. Oh, you guys are bastards. Alright, here we go. Love us. Action shot. You have, you have some good action music for us, Turden. Do you want your ears? Oh, uh, no. Keep, destroy my ears. It's Mercy. okay. Everyone, keep, turn the volume down a little ears. bit. Turn the volume down a little bit, guys. Just do it. I haven't really got anything that would suit your purpose, but you can have this. <laughs> what the never used to work. Alright, we're good. I failed miserably right. at that. It's okay. 
<laughs> that's the one that you never used to work. I wanted it to be Wait. cooler, but it just wasn't. Yeah. No. Wait, I just did something. Is that was that the cool part? Right? Is that the cool? Cool loud, that's okay. Is that the kind of cool you prefer? But a country Ooh. cool. <laughs> there you go. A little little folky. Uh, coordinates we are at 46.2, 84.3-ish? Yes. Plateau rock. right here. There's a rock behind me. I just drove over it like a boss. Alright, I'm going to attempt to jump onto my ship without jumping off of the cliff. Won't be able to make it because there's an anaconda behind you and you won't be able to use your thrusters. But I'm going to jump over here! Woohoo! I almost made it. Um, let's see. Charles McManamy says he prefers Miguel Johnson's new album. Yeah. It is good. It is. It's very good. Uh, hey guys! I'll take the link here. <laughs> Dang it, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Come over here! Where you at, Gray? What are you doing over there? Jumped across. There we go. Alright, I'm coming. This is gonna end badly. Here's Miguel's thing. Um, one second. What was that? Yeah, Keith, um, you're not in our wing because our wing is currently full. So if you could wing in, uh, wing in some people, that would be fantastic. Chabuka made it. Just and barely. <laughs> John also made it. Excellent. I was thinking you might hit your bonus just a fraction too soon, but you did just make it. Uh, I was, that was way too close. Uh, Keith, can mm. you send Isokix a wing in white, please, so he can uh, find the spot easier? Yes. He's hitting the, hitting yes. the brakes afterwards, that's the thing. Look at that. <laughs> Not you much across runway. The, across the canyon here. What are we looking at? The canyon. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. We can take a look at gray looking, pondering life's many meanings <laughs> in the distance. What does it all mean, gray? Tell us. Nobody knows what it means, but it's provocative. It means cows' asses <laughs> and leathery, cows and leathery <laughs> faced one? women, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you elicited the Shibuka laugh. <laughs> I don't know why that got me so much, but that was really good. Nobody knows what this means. That's why it's provocative. <laughs> oh, what that was that was from uh, uh that was from Balls song, of Fury. Actually. Yeah. It it well it was also in Balls of Fury with uh no 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 uh the the, the um oh, crap the ice skating movie with Will Ferrell. And the guy who played Napoleon Dynamite. Um, Come on, chat, help him out here. I'm, I'm yeah, gonna attempt right here. to. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to jump over to the main it ice, land. It was an ice skating movie. It wasn't Balls of Fury. It was. Um, I'm not gonna look. It was ice skating. It was ice. Communications panel activated. Not communications panel. Oh, this is Alex. far. Um, blades of, um, blades of well. anger. Blades of glory. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, nobody knows what it means. It's provocative. <laughs> it's provocative. Yeah. What, where did you jump, Gray? Back over? No. I didn't just get... Yeah. Um, went... oh, that's, that's the sound that robots make when they die. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> the smashed potato robot. That's what he's <laughs> Now I'm checking out where I, where I maybe jump across. Whoa, Bleh. Finland, home of the $103,000 speeding ticket. That surprised me so much, I'm now flipping end over end, and I'm going to die. Yeah, because in Finland, the speeding tickets are relative to your... If you have big, a lot of money. I, I think I worked that one out. I, th I think so. It's, yeah. it's proportional to how fast you're going over the... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> the best part of that, the best part of that was Gray's robot scream. 
<laughs> yeah, I will go the reception here with my feet. Alright, I'm gonna try to jump across to this. Not very oh, good anyhow. Alright, oh, hold on, let me get you an external camera. Oh my god, I thought I killed you, Gray. Great says, what the hell I, was that? I, the funny thing is, I didn't think you heard like over the last one most. Uh, not not getting a word of that, Gray. No, that it's that's the total total bot. Looked inside says the robot. Gray almost had an emotion there. Almost. <laughs> I almost had an emotion. <laughs> now we know how robots a scream. Robot scream. <laughs> oh, I'm crying, man. I swear, I did not know that cliff was there. I was, I was like, oh god, I killed Gray. I can't remember what 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 game is it where you shoot robots and they make that strangled noise when they shoot them. You ready? I'm I'm ready. Let's do it. I got you. All right. Here we go. Keith, hey. Get out of way. Yeah, he is speaking binary. Like go out of play He is. <laughs> Come on. Don't catch him, Anaconda. Don't catch him. Le leave him be. Leave yeah, him be. Andy Don't, block no! Don't block it. Oh, Don't block it. Don't block it. Don't block it. Fucking turrets do. Fucking hell. No! No! Everybody has to have a moment of silence for Robot Grey Test. Who was that? Whoever was in the white anaconda. That was, um... Yeah. Whoever was in the white <laughs> anaconda, leave before we get your name. <laughs> leave before Grey gets back and finds out who you are. Run away! I didn't get your name green. on stream. I didn't get <sighs> your name on stream. But that, that was, um... That was pretty cool. Watching it from this angle just appears like Jaws out of nowhere. Da, 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 oh, da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> he got right in front of the screen. Right underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man, that was that was good. That was good. He has no shields. <laughs> <laughs> He's got no shields. Are you going after him? I'm ramming him right now. <laughs> oh, dear. Can we can we see it? Where where is it? What's going on? There's the battle going on right there. He's Kick his ass, sea bass. <laughs> All right, great test. I'm going to avenge you, no. and I'm going to make this jump. All right, do it. All right, boys. For the finale of today's planetary nebula exploration, you know how it's going to end. Everyone knows how this is going to end. You can Shabunka. So we want. Do you want some polka music? All right. <laughs> I do. But first, Turgeon, I need you to give me a countdown, Turgeon. Let's do this. From how many? From Three, five. One. Alright, Isa. <laughs> Alright. No Are you ready? Worry. Okay. I'm ready, let's do this. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Go! Go faster, damn it! <laughs> Some polka music. I've made a mistake. <laughs> I've made a grave mistake. You didn't jump. Yeah. That's a long way down. Uh, I am so glad I'm not in VR right now. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I'm not going to make it. I don't want to look. I can do this. I believe in myself. <laughs> oh 
this is gonna hurt! This is gonna hurt! Oh! I'm still going! I'm still going! Is that gonna become a thing now? Diamonds and Spooky's chair. Oh, it just flew under me! It just flew under me! Oh, he's got me! I saw! Oh no, I saw that was a mistake! Oh god, I'm dead! No! No! I don't know what he did, but he, you hit ISO kicks and he. <laughs> oh, <Whoa>, how? <laughs> because I, he was I, down. I've, 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 I've seen SRVs happened? explode from hitting a pebble. I've, <laughs> I've never seen this shit explode. What is your what is your SRV made out of, Shabuk? <laughs> I'm not sure, but that land. Neutronium. Was... It survived that ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> uh, I so I appreciate you going out in the ball of flames like that, man. That was awesome. <laughs> that well was done. awesome. Well done, I so. Sacrificing himself <laughs> for the name of Shabunka. Oh, oh no! I'm pretty sure uh, his uh, anaconda was shieldless. Yeah, it was really, it was already down to less than fifty percent because he uh. you hit him in, in flight as well. Oh yeah, I did hit him in flight. I think he tried to catch me, and I just. Whoo! Yeah, uh, probably done damage to his ship. Oh yeah. man, that, that applause, applause cost, cost me sixteen million. <laughs> oh, oops. I hope you enjoyed that applause, Iso Kicks. You can replay oh, was... it. Everyone give. On... Everyone give Iso yeah. a round of applause. Yeah. Give him a salute. Well done, Iso. Yeah. All for the greater good of the stream. That was awesome. Take care, mate. See ya, Iso. <laughs> what oh a way to go. God. That you was went yeah. out in the boom. That that is how you end a broadcast right there, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. It's a shame we, we can't like have a, a an in game fund for things like this. You have a big oh, I know. Of money that people can chip into and then if someone has a an incident like that you say it's okay, there's enough in the float, you can have your sixteen million there. Dear God. That was, the amazing. Fund. that was amazing. We can play football with this. <laughs> with this? <laughs> with you mean expensive, soccer? soccer? Expensive wreck. I don't know what soccer is. Football. <laughs> or football in Germany. Foot. Yes, football. Uh. It's, it's football in every country in the world apart from one. America. America. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, the, ship, right. the, the, the part is flying roughly your direction. Um, he's just so low that it's coming more. Oh, Jesus. Catch! Jesus. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah, this was, this was honestly a lot of fun. It was, <laughs> certainly. That was. Okay, I just anytime. Uh, on me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit Many of a lens. You, you still have seventy percent after that, man. Not bad. I know, dude. <coughs> and I didn't have a hundred percent when I jumped either. I was at eighty-six percent when I jumped. Look at you. You land. Here's a secret. You land on your back wheels. Mm -mm. Land on your back wheels. Front wheels always. I landed on my I'll back wheels. And I didn't take any hop damage. Hop off a chart. Lucky I'll you. Hop off a mouse. See what my minion's barking at. All right, I oh guess we gosh. can do a quick roll call in chat then yeah, and end yeah. the broadcast on that note. Man, that was awesome. Anytime you have exploration, SRV shenanigans, great test blowing up, 
and then an anaconda blowing up and me sticking a landing. It's a good broadcast to me. So yes, <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see all those salutes in chat. Um, I'll try to channel my inner Josh and get through everything, and I'm probably not going to going to. Here we go. Right, oh, actually, first let me uh, let me get over to here so I can. Okay. Commander Machine, Andy AP, Jack Morgan, Ugentide, Commander Plater, Grey Test, Rod Waiter, Cylon, HD, Rev, J, Sinclair Research, Charles and Manami, Jacob, Ledge Bull, Commander Giz, Rodney Peters, Dr. Swarm, Keith Kevin Jones, Kervin Jones, my bad, Spooky, Jerome W, Ray Mabola, Commander Potomax, Cavill, Lear Club 1307, Net Jack, Unka Chunka, oh my god, your name is amazing. Uh, Unka Chunk, uh, Gr Grelster, uh, Mark Wheeler, Timothy Langfield, Commander Veiled Rover, Academic Dust, Academic Dust, A94, Brent Wolf, Commander Spider461, Dante UK, Andy K, oh Jesus, Rev Logos, uh, Luch Luchi, uh, Unser John, Dave, uh, ha Damon, I'm not Josh, Commander Rick With, uh, Johnson, Sky, <laughs> that realization, Turgeon, though, I'm not Josh, Rick With, Dante UK, Mark Wheeler, Scott Lingaby, X Man 2008, Mr. H3, David, New Joker, Dr. Swarm again, Dr. Swam, is that a Swam? Swam, that that's swam. swam. Oh, Dr. Sam, Swam, damn it, I almost messed <laughs> it up again. Dr. Swam, Dave, 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 243. Good night, everyone. And Limit. Thank you so much for uh, to those guys who, who actually joined us here on the little trip we had. Really appreciate it. Who, who just missed up my camera? Who just missed JJ Abrams, out? obviously. Oh, the burn is real. <laughs> it was All right, guys. It has been a fantastic time. Thank you so much for coming out and having fun with us. Uh, I hope it was as fun for you as it was for us. Um, and but not quite for ISO. Not quite for ISO, but next week we will have Josh back, and uh, your normal broadcast will continue. And yeah, again, so thank you guys so much for coming out. Week. The fun will be over. Yep. <laughs> uh, boss is coming back. But anyway, guys, returns. it has been a blast. Return of the fry. <laughs> it has been a blast. I love you all. And I hope you have a fantastic week. And we will see you next Sunday. After a little bit of Michael, Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, folks. Little, little inception. Care. Blah. America. Of course, Commander. <laughs> Shut up, Alex. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>